right. We are doing time conversions today. So, time conversions, you just have to remember things like how many minutes are in an hour, how many hours are in a day, all things that you should be fairly familiar with. So, this one is asking for years to months. So, in one year, there are 12 months. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, 12 months. Okay? So, in one year, there are 12 months. As long as we know our times tables, we know that 3 times 12, which we get from over here, 3 and our 12. 3 times 12 is... 36. So there are 36 months and 3 years. In 5 years, we can either do 12 added 5 times or we can do 5 times 12 is 60. Okay, on this last one, we just do the same thing, okay? So, 7 times 12 is going to equal 84. So remember, we are getting that from over here, our chart, and our conversions. Then we are just going to rewrite it. 1, 12, 3, 36, 5, 60, and 7, 84. All right, this one it is asking us to compare. So it's giving us minutes compared to seconds. So looking at it, you may be able to tell I can't. So I'm going to figure out in one minute, there are 60 seconds. So in five minutes, I can either add 60 five times or I can do 60 times five. I know six times five is 30. Add my zero, that's 300 seconds. So I know that 300 seconds is bigger, greater than 250 seconds. All right, my next one, it is months to years. So it's comparing months to years. So we've got to figure out how many months are in four years. So in one year, there are 12 months. So in four years, we can either add 12 four times or we can do 12 times four is 48. So I know 48 months or four years is greater than 36 months. All right, the other thing I want to talk about with your math is if there are fractions involved, like these ones. Okay? Don't let the fractions scare you. Pretend like the fractions aren't there for a minute. Just focus on the basics. So how many days, in this case, how many hours are in one day? So in one day, there are 24 hours. So I've already figured out the first part of this one. That part is, that part is done. Okay? Pretend like the one's not there now. I've already figured out 24. Now I gotta take a half a day. So if 24 is a full day, cut 24 in half, that'll be our half a day. So 24 cut in half is 12. So one day plus my half a day is going to be 36 hours. All right, in one week, there are seven days. So if the fraction was not there, we would do seven times three and get 21 days in seven weeks. However, we do have this little fraction. So now that we've finished our three, we just have to worry about the fraction. So if there are seven days, Two of those seven would be days, right? Two sevens of a week would be two days. So 21 plus two would be 23 days. All right, start by looking at how many months are in one year. So in one year, there are 12 months. So in four years, we could either do 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12, four times added, or we can do four times 12. So 4 times 12 is 48. Okay, now we just got to figure out this fraction part. So the 3 fourths. So we know that one year there are 12 months. So we just got to figure out what's 3 fourths of 12. So 1 fourth of 12 would be 3. 
one half of 12 would be six. So add three more, we get nine. So three fourths of 12 is nine. So 48 plus nine, okay? And 48 plus nine is 57, okay? 57 months. All right. It's hours, and instead of giving us a fraction, it's giving us just the minutes already. So, first we gotta figure out how many minutes are in one hour. So in one hour, there are 60 minutes. So in six hours, we can do 60 added six times, or we can do six times 60. So six times six is 36, add a zero at the end. That's gonna be 360 minutes. However, we still have this 42 minutes right there. So we gotta do 360 plus 42. So that's gonna be 402 minutes. Okay, let me know if you have any questions or if something is not making sense to me. You have my Google phone number and you also have my email. My email is P, the letter P, Karsty, C-A-R-S-E-Y, at renacademy.org, or my Google phone number is, my Google phone number is 385-269-9581. Feel free to call me or text me anytime between the hours of 8 and 3.30. Okay, I miss you all. Bye.